No, I'm not frozen. I'm just, I'm just kidding with you. Oh, I'm so funny. No, I'm not. I'm a pain in the butt. But you guys are awesome because you're here. So welcome. It's hey guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. I have to start like that because that gets me revved up. Hey guys, it's me, Indiana Jones, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's Sunday night. I'm a little whacked out. I've been crafting all weekend. Like I crafted I don't know, four things yesterday, four things today. One of them didn't turn out right. Set it on fire. Watched it burn. You know, those kind of things. You know, things you do as a crafter when you fail. No, I'm just kidding. It didn't it didn't crash and burn. It crashed, but it didn't burn. I didn't burn it down. But uh yeah, it's been a it's been a fun weekend. I still have a lot more crafting to go. I still have like two or three other um craft challenges I have to meet up with, plus editing. Yeah. Hi guys. So let's see. Hope you got Flamo on film. All right. Let's see who's online. We got Patty and Billy and Teresa and Sandy, CK, Dexter Haven, Liz. How are you guys? So today I went live kind of, but it was a pre-recorded live because I wasn't going to be able to be live because I had something else. Oh, it's just a mess. Anyway, so it was a tumbling block challenge that was being hosted by Melissa Makes It DIY. And hey, Connie. And I was happy to say that I made a, a jail. No, it's it's supposed to be a lantern. I still have to finish this. And I'm, I'm making this kind of shape because eventually there will be a dome up here. There will be some kind of dome. I don't know how I'm going to make it, but I want um, to make a dome and then I'll paint this. And I don't know. I like it. I like it. I think it's cute. One thing I could have done is I could have put, put beads in the middle as well. I thought it would be cute. Looks like a gilded cage. Yeah, that's what I want to do is I want to paint it. But I do want to create something up here, like either like this. I don't know, something, something, something. So if you guys think of anything, let me know. But I was going to do that. And then I was like, and no, I'm not eating cat snacks. I haven't, got, I haven't gotten off the deep end. I'm just using this for my tumble blocks because I was like, I need a big thing for my tumble blocks. So I thought one of the things I, one of the other things I wanted to make for the tumble blocks are little tumble tassels. I'm going to call them tumble tassels. I don't know if anybody else has made them. Hello, purple pixie. Oh, oh, a glass upside down or a bowl upside down. That's a good idea. Well, I was thinking of making like a paper mache kind of like thing, but it's got to be square. So big egg for the dome. Oh, that's a good idea too. Hey, Jojo, babe. Hey, Juju be Sarah. I love the way she's like, it's a Sarah. Why aren't you eating them? Those are delicious. I know, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's put this aside. I don't want to get complicated. I want to take it easy because Friday, Friday night is Sunday night. I have so many chores to do in this house. This house is destroyed, like destroyed. I'm just like trashed my house again, making crafts. Oh, I know all the all the Texas people. Hey, broke girl, how are you, how you doing? Hey, Crystal. Oh, that's right. Purple Pixie's Crystal. And broke girl, what's your name? I forgot your name, Angel. I forgot your name. So I'm gonna make. Let's move back. Move back. Move back. I gotta change this out. I still have my hearts up here. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. So I'm gonna make like little tassel thingy majiggers. Think of majiggers. My house is destroyed. Hi, Denise. How are you? Patty. Hi. I'm so far behind that I just took down my Christmas tree today. You know, this is a no judgment area. No judgment. Because, girl, I have like three or four baskets of laundry in my room, three or four baskets of laundry in Luke's room. That's Luke's fault. He's not crafting. But he's had a lot of homework. Poor kid, it's like every class now because you're it's like online, they figure like you're not doing anything. I don't know. So every weekend this kid has a homework in every single class. And I'm like, dude, this is crazy. I never do anything. Went to buy him a bike. There's no bikes in Florida. Go figure. I don't find a dang bike anywhere for him. I don't know. Poor kid, he's outgrowing his bikes. It's so good to see Billy here. Billy, how are you feeling? Are you getting better? By the way, everybody keeps Cindy in your prayers. 
that crafting lady. So I'm just going to play with tumble blocks. No, what I thought would be cute is to make like little Victorian doodads. I don't know. People, it's Sunday night. I can't think anymore. Can't think anymore. By the way, if you guys are wondering, what is she talking about? Tumble block. Go. Okay, so the video that I did earlier today has links to a tumble block challenge. It was like a hop. So you would hop from one person to the other. I didn't know who my video was supposed to hop to. So it went like back and forth. It's crazy. Uh, ow. Hey, Tiff. Broke girl is Tiffany. That's it. Okay. Broke girl is Tiffany. All right. Oh, crap. Old guy memory. No, honey. So broke is Tiffany. Purple is Crystal. I love that name, Crystal. I always wanted that name, Crystal, for my daughter, if I ever had one. I had so many names for a little girl, but you know what? I wasn't meant to be a little girl. I'm so happy I never had a little girl. Hey, Melissa, we were just talking about your playlist challenge. I'm still playing with tumble blocks, lady. Thanks to you. By the way, do you notice this? The tumble blocks are not exactly the same size. Mm. That helps to know that. <laughs> All right, this one's actually better, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to see if I find two that are the same in the dark. In the dark. Look at that. Look at that. They're like way off. Look at that. Can't see? Look, see? They're like off by a millimeter. All right, this one looks like on why do they all feel like they don't fit they're not the same size did you guys notice this it's down to nine degrees nine degrees are you kidding me oh my gosh oh becky's here Cindy, we were just talking about you. I was saying we got to pray for Cindy so she gets better. So good to see you here. Hi, Tyra. Midnight Joker. Long time no here. How are you? All right. So this is what we're going to do. My peeps. So I got this. And I'm going to paint it like these pastel -y colors. So I'm going to paint the brown one yellow. I know it doesn't make sense. Yellow or pink? Let's do pink. Let's do pink. I don't have pink, but I got red and white. So I got apple barrel and I got folk art. This is the you guys that are getting to be pod ambassadors. We now have... How many plant ambassadors out there, people? We got a couple of plant ambassadors out there. Share your, share your uh, channel if you're a plant ambassador. Everybody say hey if you're a plant ambassador. Say hey. All right, let's mix this up. Ooh, that's dark. That's a dark pink. I need it lighter. Hey, Teresa B. And why? So Teresa is one. Awesome. Who else? Connie. Oh, Cindy, good to hear. Hey, Laura Lee. That's such a pretty name. All right, so I'm going to use this pink on the brown. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just going to like, I'm just going to do this because I have pink in some of the designs that I'm going to use, so. just like staining it pink i don't know if that looks that look okay kind of like the colors i have on right now it's pink and brown and then i'm going to do this one in like a yellow yellow let's take another spongy junker neck are you too wait how many okay wait 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 how many plant ambassadors are there there's teresa there's leah there's who else? 
Connie, Cindy, there's a lot of you people. Cindy, that's what I thought. There we go. I'm trying to make this into like a lighter or pastel -y yellow. There we go. Still too dark. Cindy, yes, Cindy's one. This is awesome. Yes, Connie just found out. Cool beaners. Such cool beaners. I don't like this. I don't like it. You know what I do with things I don't like? I toss them out. I'm not going to work on that. I don't like it. Looks like caca. Looks like caca. So I'm going to take two of these natural. The natural colors are better for pastel colors. So, yeah. I'm going to use that. There you go. Is Jackie one? Jackie, are you one? Are you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I think Jackie is one too. I am so happy. What are you making tonight? I don't know what I'm making. I'm going to try to make like little Victorian tassel thing of jiggers. Tumble tassels. It's something I call tumble tassels. That's what I'm making. The caca. Oh, we use it all the time. We're, we use it all the time here. I'll do blue. Blue on blue. Heartache on heartache. Blue on blue. Oh, that's right. How many people were affected? That's pretty sad. It was pretty bad out there. All right. I'm going to do a little light blue one. You're like, what is she doing? She don't have no idea. You're watching me like I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Look, when I started making that cage, I literally had no idea what I was doing. I went live and I'm like, oh, all right, I'm going to try to make. I was like, I don't want to make a lantern. I want to make something different. So I made a cage. But I'm sure other people did that too. You craft it all day. Oh, I know. Me too. My problem is, I don't mind crafting. I craft all day. I craft every day. My problem is chores. Chores, 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 chores. Chores, 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 chores. So, guys, what do you watch while you're crafting? Like, believe it or not, today was a Downton Abbey day. Don't know why. Ever since I did that Downton Abbey thing the other day, I was like, I'm hooked back on Downton Abbey. I am hooked back on that. Hi, Maria. Hey, Maria. How are you doing? I love it. Maria went live today. I didn't realize you went live one day. And I missed you live. I got to see you afterwards, but I missed you live. And it was like, oh, I didn't get to see you live. Might as well. I'm just painting the whole thing. So I'm just painting. Just took two blocks, and I'm painting it. And I'm trying to think of what to come. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Because I just got these fingers and I want to use them. Okay, so there. There we go. Now I have these rubby thingies. What are these things called? Rubby thingies. Rub on transfers. Rub on transfers. Rub on. Rub on. Rub on. Hubby wants another hat. I've been crafting and filming today and doing chores. Wow. Oh, no, no. I've been doing laundry. Here's the problem. I put the laundry in, put it in the dryer, put it on my bed. Put the laundry in, put it in the dryer, put it on my bed. Does it get folded? No. It does get hung up. I have hung it up, but I have not folded it. Upstairs, downstairs. Yes. I love upstairs, downstairs. All right. You're like, what is she doing? We can't see. Let's move this. All right. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing, pibbles. Okay, so we have, I just want to make like little Victorian doohickey majiggers. These are doohickey majiggers. Let me get my scissors. Scissors. I've decided this is my new decor for Easter. So I'm going to get all these baskets and just put all my crafting crap and have it all over the house. 
So if I ever I want to, I just pick up a basket. What's in the basket? Oh, we got moss and we got burlap and we got paints and eggs and birdies. There you go. Have a whole bunch of baskets all over the house with craft crap in it. And then you're ready to go. Hi, Aaron. Made two bowls with the wood rounds and they are almost fry. Nice. I fold as they come out of the dryer. Are you kidding me? Fold as it comes out of the dryer. I guess because my washer and dryer are in the garage. Garage. Did I ever tell you the story about garage? So let's take this. I have this little purple teacup. Does it fit? Does the purple teacup fit? Let's see. I like a little purple teacup with a yellow background. It has a little yellow rose, so it kind of matches. <gasps> yes, I think it fits. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Hey, hey, how are you? Then it looks like the Easter Bunny hooked you up with goodies. Hey, hey, if the Easter Bunny's listening to me, he knows I don't go for no chocolate. Don't give me no peeps. You give me some Hobby Lobby, Michael's gift cards, we're good. Give me some dollar store crafting. Stuff that I can't find at my dollar store. You know what? That's what I want. Mr. Bunny, I've been a good girl. I've been crafting. I've been good to people. Bring me little Easter eggs filled with all those Dollar Tree things I can't find in my store. That's what I want. I want some chocolate and craft. Nah, chocolate doesn't do things for me. Doesn't do anything for me. All right. So we're going to put the little teacup here. It's a little teacup, short and stout. What am I going to how am I going to rub it up? Take a little paintbrush. <laughs> Hear me shout and rub the teacup and see it out. <laughs> you guys, you watch me because I'm insane. I am insane. So, yeah, we'll reschedule. Okay, we're going to reschedule the... Topiary challenge. It's a long story, but the person who was hosting it, I have not heard from her. I don't think she's hosting it anymore. She's going in a different direction. So she's, you know, whatever. And I know I was the co-host, but to be completely honest, I don't want to take it on right now. Maybe we'll do it for May. So save your topiaries. Regardless, you can just cut off the intro that you did for tomorrow and put it in any kind of spring challenge, just chuck that topiary in there. Just chuck it in there. Chuck it in there. And by the way, Corey of Crafting by Corey did a topiary recently, so you can use that as one of your Try It Tuesday challenge items. I'm just giving you ideas. But we'll reschedule. We'll do another topiary thing. I just don't want to do it right now. I mean, I had mine done, but I don't want to do it right now. All right. Let's see if this works. I love working with these rub-on things now. Oh, look how cute. No, can you see it? My stupid light is like too bright. There you go. Look at that. How cute. How cute is that, people? Now, wait. Oh, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. I have some roses. I have a little rose here. What else can I put on this? Let's do the blue one. The blue one. What shall we do on the blue one? You know, these little, I have a little wobbin. I can do it this way. I can do it this way. What do you think? Like this or like this? It's just going to be little charms. What can't you find at your Dollar Tree, Annie? Okay, so I can't find like those little styrofoam bunnies. I can only find the tiny bunnies. The tiny fun. Yes, I can't come up with three for Try It Tuesday. Leah, come on. You've got to. You've got to, girl. I'm trying to think, what shall I use? You know what? I'm going to use, I have this. these roses. I'm going to use this rose and a, but a butterfly. I like the pink with the blue, so we'll do that. Let me see. 
this side. This side's better. I love rub-ons. <laughs> Do you have a channel? Hey, Pixie, I can't come up with three Try It Tuesdays, but how can that be when there's so many people that are so, you know, I'm using one of the rub-ons that you sent me for my Try It Tuesdays. Nice. Oh, that's right. We have a playlist that's coming up that's Share Your Stash. Haven't made the video for that. I figure I'll make that on Saturday because it's for Sunday. Yes. Yes, you have to have three for the Try It Tuesday. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about what I just did because it's too embarrassing, but it's usual for my life. I forgot to take the backing off. So I'm like rub and rub and rub with no backing, with the backing still on it. Yes, it's three DIYs. Ooh, I can't wait to show you what I did. I can't wait to show you what I did. And I also did three DIYs for, oh my gosh, one of the DIYs, okay. I think you guys are gonna like it. I don't think I've seen anybody else do it. I got the idea from something that I saw on Auntie Cuckoo's store shopping thing or whatever, because I don't have that store that she has here. And I saw it, I fell in love with it. I said, I want that. And I looked it up online. It was something like 50 bucks. And I said, I don't want to spend 50 bucks for that. You have a huge new craft. That's awesome. Am I tired? Yeah, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. My mama and my brother were here. We had pasta, pasta night, and made I made them pasta and I made tiramisu, tiramisu. You know I like this. So you go like that. See how pretty? I love the pink with the blue. And now I'm gonna put a little butterfly on it. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm sorry if I look tired. My tired is usual. You know, like I'm used to my tired. Hey, Effie's here. Okay, I'm going to put a little butterfly here too. Little butterfly. Take off the backing. Very important. And then we're going to have a little butterfly. Little butterfly floating over the, over the, the rose. Those are so, I know, aren't these gorgeous? I love them. They only have, this is the thing with Dollar Tree. Like, I would have loved to have had more of these. But no, they only had one. All these damn crafters here in Miami. Only find, I couldn't find tumble blocks for weeks. Finally found it on Friday because I was by my mom's house. I know I miss my brother too. I asked my brother, Manny, come and craft with me. He's like, no, he has to work tomorrow. He usually doesn't. He stays late because he usually doesn't work on Sundays. I'm mean, on Mondays because he works Saturdays. So he has Mondays off. But tomorrow he has to work. Because his boss isn't in, so he's got to take over. There you go. Look how cute. Okay. So this is what we're doing. Hey, Melissa, are you watching? Look. I'm using this. I don't have my other twine. And I need... I need something to wind up. I'll just do it around my my hands. I like doing things like this anyway. So, bye, Billy. Good night. God bless you. Take care. Stay safe. So here is the tassel part, people. So I'm just going around, around, around. I'm sorry if I look tired, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not usually this tired, but I'm really tired. So this is from Melissa's stash that she shared with me, and I love this color, and I've been wanting to make tassels with it. Got a lot of people. Hey, hey, you got 25. Did everybody watch Corey's live? Everybody's going live. I love it. 
I, I miss it though because it's not like it's a set time. Like if it was once a week, guys, if you're doing lives, it's once a week, and I know that you guys are going to go live, then I'll make myself available. That is real pretty. That is real pretty. People are banging me. Oh my gosh. I'm like on these different chats on Instagram and it's like bing, 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 bing. What are you making? I got sidetracked. I am going to, you look great. I love your nails. Have, can you see my nails? No, you cannot see my nails. Look at my nails. They're a wreck. They are an absolute disaster. I had moss on my nails. Oh my gosh, what a mess with moss. What a mess. You want to do a live in the morning? Okay. Just winding up. All right. I think that's enough for a tassel. I think that's quite enough for a tassel. Now I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to wind this around. And again, I don't know if this is the appropriate way to make a towel. This is how I make a towel. Oh, please, you should see my nails. Yes, that's the best thing to do. Good night, Maria. Lots of love to you. My gosh, is Maria the cutest little thing you've ever seen? She's so cute. She's adorable. Fangirling. Fangirling. All right. Did you guys pass your bedtime? Where do you live, Maria? My goodness. Um, my toenails are a wreck. I haven't had a pedicure in God knows how long. Not that I used to have pedicures that often, but you know, once in a while. Um, lots of love to you, Maria. Um, what was I gonna ask? I was gonna ask something. I was going to ask. Just gonna tie it off right up here, like that. Then I'm gonna take one of these beady beads. Should I paint these? Should I paint this little bead? Let's paint the little bead. Let's paint the bead. Paint the bead. Paint the bead. I need something to hold the bead. I will use this thing that I just found on my floor. This is why I don't clean my floors to paint the bead. Put a little bead of glue. Oh my gosh, I barely have any space here. I need a second table to hold my laptop. All right. I want the bead in the glue. Should I paint it? What are you making? I don't know. I'm calling them tumble tassels. There's Luke. Hey, Luke. Hi. I got to paint the bead. It's just too much work. I'll paint it after. Say hi to everybody. Show them your hair. I don't want to. No, please. Your hair is adorable it's today. It's really not good today. No, it's adorable today. Just stick your head in. Everybody say hi to Luke. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Duh. Who's watching WandaVision? Is anybody else out there watching WandaVision? Why does this not want to string through? One division, one, one division, one division. Okay. I'm getting very frustrated because I have a big hole and my thing isn't going through it. Read into that as you will. Um, um, there we go. Let's try that. What? How come I can't get through? All right. I have a little, little ribbon here. Ooh, there we go. Let's try this. What is Wanda? No, not Wanda Division. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Patty Fish, you're watching Wanda Vision? Well, if you guys know, like, I'm not into superheroes at all. You can ask my kids, not into superheroes. Not that impressed. It's like, fine, whatever. But Wanda was one of my favorite, favorite characters when I was growing up. Yes. That's what she said. Yes, it was. There's no children watching, so I'm going to say what I wish. All right, here we go. How many episodes is it supposed to be, Tiffany? 
think we're alone now. Wasn't that Tiffany? There we go. Look at this. All right. There we go. Now I'm going to cut this. And I have Latasha. This is what I'm calling the tassel. I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, it's on Disney Plus. I mean, I like certain Marvel things, but I'm not like too thrilled. But when they came out with this, I was like, oh yes, I I always wanted to be the Scarlet Witch. Always. I mean, come on. Who else? Who else? What other character would I be? I like the Scarlet Witch more than Wonder Woman. All right, there's my tassel. Look how cute it came out. I can even this out here at the bottom and make it pretty. And then I'm just gonna glue it. Now I really wanna paint this. What color should I paint it? Ooh, Sam Mardine. Supernatural, oh my gosh, yes. Ooh, nice. Good night, Sandy. Love you lots, girl. All right. I don't know if this, oh, you know what? I'm so, I'm such a dunce. I'll get some more, don't worry. I don't know, I just thought this was cute. So I decided to make it. I don't know, have you ever seen these before? I'm sure you have. This isn't new. I'm a Dean girl. Light blue. Cute. Okay. Let's see what I should have done is left them enough. This would have been cute for Christmas. I'm sure I've seen this for Christmas. That's where I got the idea from. Was in love with Jensen. Aw. Well, I think it's hilarious because Sam, his previous, when he was on, um, must have been very confusing for him as an actor because when he was on Gilmore Girls, his name was Dean. And now his name wasn't Dean on Supernatural. There we go. You don't think you've seen these before? Look how cute. Isn't that cute? I like it. I am going to paint the bead, though, now that it's, like, status quo there. Um, I will paint it. What color shall I paint it? I'll paint it yellow, since I already got the yellow here. He's on Walker? Walker, Texas Ranger. I haven't watched that yet. I don't, I don't watch any of the TV programs, really. Who has time? Crafting all the time. It's like, crafting. I'm not working. I'm crafting. All right. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't work on little bird cage. That would have taken too long. So this is one of the other things I wanted to do for that, for the video, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, my problem wasn't the filming. My problem was going to be the editing and I just didn't, I didn't have the time. So I was like, eh, just go live. I like going live. I like crafting with you guys. I really do. It's like crafting alone is so well, lonely because, <laughs> you know, I have your input. Yeah, I just have Amazon Prime. Oh, hello, my name is Doris. That was a great, that I love that. That was really good. I really like that one. Yeah, these are cute. It's when you're crafting, but you go live, so that's different, right? I know, that's the thing. I like going live. I like inter interacting with you guys and crafting. So, yeah, there you go. So there's something else you can do with the little tumble blocks. And it goes my shabby chic look. And you can just like, you, you know, it's cute. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, put this on an end with beads. Now I got to make another bead garland and you put this at the end of it. 
That's it, girls. That's what we're doing. That's what we're using these for, for those beady garlands. You can also put them on your baskets. Oh, can you imagine if you make this and you put your kid's name and you put like, you, you know, you do the little, the rub-ons and you put the kid's name on it. Tiny earrings. These are not tiny. <laughs> Lana. Actually, oh, look at that. Look at that. That would look cute. You know, those long chains? That's cute. You can put it on as a charm for your, like, for your purse. So many things you can do with that. I thought that's what you were going to do. Well, I, hey, crafting Cousins, how are you doing? Well, I don't have my beads. If not, I would have made a, ta um, I would have made a bead garland and used this as a tassel. Hey, Trish. Yeah, that's right. Crafting Cousins is usually Trish when she's on here. So there you go. It would be cute as a purse charm. Pretty cute for earrings. Pretty long earrings, if you ask me. Maybe, maybe just one would be cool. You know what's also cute? You know what would be cute? Imagine if you take these and put a bead in between. I wish it was if you could drill through this and actually like do rub-ons and do rub-ons on here and like make a necklace. You can make like a little choker. You can make a choker. Look at that. You can do this. Why not? But you can make this like a little choker and put like leather. Oh, like a leather thing and put like a bead here, bead here, and then like a name. You can like wood burn a name. So many things you can make with this stuff, right? So, hey, Deanna, she's here. Awesome. So anyway, I don't want to take too much of your time because it is Sunday night, but there you go. Tumble tassels, people. You heard it here first. I don't know if anybody else has called it that, but now you know. Tumble tassels. Hey, Lizzie, how are you doing? You can use eye hooks on each and thread your leather. Yes. Thank you. I have those. I have the little eye hooks. Oh. Bracelet. Oh, my goodness. You make a little bit. Look at my wrists are so tight. Look, my wrists are as big as one of these tumble blocks, people. Scorch marker. Yes, a scorch marker. This was so cute. Now that we're coming up with it. Now, after we did the videos, right now I'm coming up with all the ideas. <laughs> Silly me. But I love using the rub-ons. We have the other one here. Where's the other one? Oh, here's the other one. There's the other one. I could put little flowers on this too. I think that's good enough. You could just make another. I don't, I'm not, I'm tired. I'm tired tonight, guys. Fodder for my next one. That's right. There you go. Thank you so much, Trish. There you go. But I love the idea of, yeah. Or you know what else you can do? You can take, you can actually make, instead of just making a bead garland, make a bead and these garlands. Do the, the little eye hooks in there. And then on this, make it shabby chic and do the little rub-ons on there. Or you can put your kids' names. Make a garland and put your kids' names. And at the end of it, make like a little cross and say, God bless them or something. Oh, I like that. I haven't seen anybody do that. Have you seen anybody do that with these? Like put little eye hooks and then put them on a, a bead garland. Make one for Luke. Oh, yeah, I should. He doesn't like wearing things. It's so funny. He doesn't like wearing jewelry. I have bought him so many crosses. That boy goes through. He used to chew through his crosses. That boy would like, he'd get nervous in school and he would like chew and chew and chew and chew. And he would see like bite marks on his cross, you know? So really three boxes of jars. Oh, nice Effie. You know how to tint them, right? We need more, please. Yep. Nope. Can't say I have. That's a good idea. There you go. So you, you heard it here first. You're going to get the eye hooks, put it on the beads, put my kids' names on it, and then, like, say blessed or something. Make a little cross at the end of it and put blessed or make one of these tassels and get, like, little rub-ons that say blessed. Because I've seen the little ones that say blessed or something. Or, you know, oh, wait. Okay, wait. Dollar Tree has those wooden letters that say like magic and blessed and awesome. So you make your, imagine you make your little bead thing, right? But then you tie it 
to these words and you have like three words you have three words in your bead garland oh okay i got, gotta go back to dollar tree again oh this is killing me people yes blessed on one side and uh, their name on the other i love it that's a great idea i like the tassel idea yes i know right can you imagine now this actually you know you gave me a great idea trish i have a white christmas tree i'm going to bring it out and i'm going to make a bunch of these like spring shabby chic ornaments and put it on the tree and then make the little garland look at that look at that and you know what you can even take like you can even take these and like rub on here who's to say you can do that you can do that i forgot that you can just do rub-ons on the beads themselves or or even better it's a pain in the butt but can you imagine if you were to like decoupage these beads with like tissue paper have you done that have, has anybody done that i'm just like spouting out ideas have you ever done that no but good idea that is what we are here to do. Bounce ideas off each other. Yes, that would be awesome. Either rub on flowers to this or decoupage. Decoupage. You can also do the dip thing. Have you done the dip thing with the with the eggs? Have you ever done that? Where you dip it? Right? I have not seen anybody do that. I have not seen anybody do that. See, that's the thing. I sit here and when I have time, I think and I'm just do it. I did a long time ago. Oh, okay. You've done the dip thing. The dip thing is fine. That's so much fun with the nail polish and dip it in the water. I've seen decoupage beads, but I've not attempted it myself. Oh, I've never seen decoupage beads. I put my hand upon your hip. When you dip, I dip, he dip. You remember that song? I love that song. Mental note, put crop logos and tumbling tower blocks on shopping lists. I am decoupage. I love decoupage. I have some beautiful rose tissue that I love to decoupage on things. I made some beautiful eggs like that last year. Oh, yes. I love that. My mind never sleeps. I know mine too. I live with my decoupage right beside me because you never know when you have to decoupage. So congratulations to all our new, oh, don't ever shake your, don't ever shake your bottles of decoupage, of Mod Podge. So congratulations to all the new plant ambassadors. We have Connie and Teresa and Cindy and Jackie, I think it is. <gasps> Jacqueline, you made the you made the fairy dress. Eddie, we're all writing this down. The dip, right? <laughs> you put your hands upon your hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> oh man, why? <laughs> why? Is anyone here interested in doing a Zoom meeting? Yes, we should do a Zoom meeting. I'm down for it. As long as it's not during like work time. And believe it or not, at lunchtime, that's when I edit people. I know. I have like an hour to edit before in the before work, in the middle. It usually takes me like an hour to two hours to edit. So before I start work, I'll edit for like 45 minutes while I'm drinking my coffee, having my breakfast. And then at lunchtime, God willing, and that's it. Oh, that's cool. I'm so excited for you. No, you can't shake Mod Podge because Mod Podge gets bubbles in it. And it kind of wears down the material. And it's also not good to, you know, to decoupage anything with bubbles in it. It's just, you know, unless bubbles is your monkey that you use to help you decoupage, decoupaging with bubbles is not good. Why did I come up with that? I don't know. That's where my brain goes. I'm thinking of bubbles. And I think of bubbles, the, 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 the little monkey that, you know, Michael Jackson had. Remember Michael Jackson had a little monkey called Bubbles? Poor little Bubbles. Must have missed his master when he died. He was probably dead before his master died. I'm old. A challenge of wind chimes. Yeah, it breaks it down. It destroys the um, the the product, the, the chemical product. <laughs> Sarah, did I make you laugh? Because I made you think of bubbles like the monkey. Was it? Wasn't his name bubbles? What the heck? I'm hearing clanging. Maybe that's Luke. Oh no, thanks. Yeah, no, don't shake my uh, Mod Podge. Don't ever shake Mod Podge. And I let's and here, I mean, we're not using Polaroids anymore, but I used to work for Polaroid. It used to drive me nuts because people would take out the Polaroid and they would do this. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. No. 
Polaroid should have sued them because you're not supposed to shake it. That's why your Polaroid pictures always come out blurry. Hey, Judy Ann woman, how are you doing? Nice to see you, Judy Ann. So anyway, I don't want to take any more of your time. It's been 45 minutes, so there you go. Tumble tassels, try it at home. I'd like to see you do it. I want to see if you, I want to see, um, Jacqueline, I would love to see. Yes, don't shake the can there. That'll explode bad. Um, yes, his chip. Um, Judy Ann. Yes, don't shake your don't shake your Polaroids and don't shake your your Mod Podge and don't shake um, pressurized cans. Shouldn't shake any of that stuff. Um, what was I gonna say? So I have my Christmas challenge coming up on the twenty fifth, and I have Crafty Quinn is the co-host for that, and then on Friday and that's Thursday, and then on, I haven't done. It. Believe me, guys, I have not done anything for that yet, but I might just come up with something today. So, shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, yeah, yeah. Show me how to do it now. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I haven't been, like, out dancing in forever. I should just go out in my front lawn and just dance. But I love dancing. Very informative when I listen and stop cracking jokes. Shake your moneymaker! <laughs> I knew that one too. Oh, funny. Um, so yeah, so the 25th is my Christmas all year long, co-hosted by Crafty Quinn. The theme is love. So if you have any extra Valentine's Day hearts, might as well use them. You don't need to do three. You can just do one little item that you make. Um, but if you want, please join my challenge. Uh, I know it's been like hidden amongst all these other challenges. All these challenges are now springing up at the end of the month, every month now, it seems, right? I used to love going dancing, right? Annie, how can I send you a picture of the dress? So send me, a, I would love to see it. You can either do it on Instagram, on Indiana Jones one You can you can tag me on Instagram, or you can send it to my email, Indiana Jones one at gmail.com. That's Indiana Jones one at uh, gmail.com i-n-d-i-e a-n-n-i-e j-o-n-e-s one at gmail.com i have my commercial voice on the flower of the month what's the flower this month what's the flower i still love going dancing i know right what's the flower of the month i used to love just going to places and watching um live music Daffodil, oh my gosh, how perfect. Right before Easter, Daffodil or Jonquil. I love them both. Love them both. Jonquil. Jonquil is such a perfect space name, you know? He is Master Jonquil. I mean, that is such a Jedi name, Jonquil. <laughs> I love it. I know daffodils are my favorite. I always think of that song from, you remember Alice in Wonderland? You can learn a lot of things, right? You can learn an awful lot from the flowers. Remember that song? I don't know. I don't know. It is an interesting name, right? Yes, send it to me. I would love to see it. So she's talking about my fairy dress that I made with flowers. Please check it out. It's in the mini challenge that was hosted by Corey, or crafted by Corey. Yes, let's do the challenge. I'm not finding any of those around me to pick up. Oh, ooh, that's not good. One of my favorite movies of all time, right? Alice in Wonderland. I love it. All right. Good night, all. And as I always say, thank you so much, first of all, for being here, for sharing some time with me, for talking to me, for getting me through this. So as I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure. And please be careful out there. Seriously, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Pray for those who need a little bit of prayer like Cindy and stuff, and, and Billy, he's still recuperating. So thank you so much, Trish. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, please, you guys are awesome. Please hit the like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, see you Tuesday night. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>